good day SketchUp for Schools friends. I have got a 3D printable project for you. I am going to start you out in SketchUp for Schools. You could of course be in my.sketchup. The first thing you need to do though is get to simple template millimeters. If you're going to be printing, it is smart to work in millimeters. Step one of course, delete the dude. Step two in my room is to set up the base where you're allowed to print. So from the origin, I allow kids 70 by 70 in the millimeter range for how big the project can be. Notice it starts out really large and then we use the really nifty zoom to extents to get to where we can see it. I'm going to roll the scroll wheel back. I'm going to hold the orbit tool as I move and let me show you how to build a cool letter in this area. Or actually I'm going to build a number so that it's quick and fast. You can build something else, but just check out the technique. So I want to make a keychain that has a number one on it. I'm going to start with the little tip of the one. I'm going to come across, notice it uses the red axis so that it's going to be straight. I'm going to come down, stays on the green axis. This is kind of nice. It infers so that I know that they're at the right spot. You can see it snaps that green line when it's correct. And I'm going to come across like that. I'm going to make my one this long. Notice it uh, shows me when I match the red, and I'm going to come across. I could have measured this to make it perfect, but I'm just showing you quickly how to build it. Once you've got your base of your letter, you can erase the outside because you're already sure that it fits in the design. We're going to take this keychain and raise it up two millimeters, and we're going to do that with the awesome push pull tool. Simply push it up, type 2, and press enter, and your keychain is designed. But to make it two colors on a one color printer, we are going to create a cool ridge that we tap the other piece into. We're going to do that with the amazing offset tool. Click offset, click the front of your design, click it once so it's adjustable. If it doesn't adjust, just do undo, and we want to make a two millimeter ridge. Go back to your push pull tool. And let's push pull that ridge and let's go two millimeters up. So now we've got an awesome area to put a inset piece in. Before we do that area though, let's add the hole for our keychain. Let's make sure we're looking from the side so it's snapping from that midpoint. If I move out here, is it on the face? I'm going to still do my 2.5. And there it is, 2.5, and it's on the face. I want to make a copy of this, so I'm going to double click it. Notice it grabbed all of the number one. I can do Control C, and I can do Control V to just paste it out in space. I'm going to do M for move. I'm going to grab one of the endpoints. I'm going to go to the origin and then slide across, and it stays right on that red axis. So now I'm guaranteed that these all match up. Let's do push pull. When we push the hole through, tap a corner so that it cuts it out. Go back to push pull for this piece and raise it up one millimeter. There it snaps to the exact size. So because we measured these and used the exact same parts, you will be able to tap this inside to make a really, really nifty two color keychain, even though you only have a one color printer. I'm gonna save my design. I'm gonna save it as inset keychain. And of course, I'm going to put my initials after it. When I hit save, it'll ask me where to put it. Remember, with SketchUp, you only click once and hit select, and it's saved. With this part done, let's put it in our printing folder. To do that, select just the first piece. Make sure you have all of it. Click the little folder and choose export as an STL. If you're in my classroom, I have to put them in an STL folder. To do that, choose the desktop choice, go to MT Tools, and there's your STL file shortcut. I'm going to do this as the inset keychain MDH because it's the big piece. And then the second one. So the second one, I'm going to grab all of it. And then I'm going to do the same export STL. It already remembers that I'm in the other folder, so it immediately goes there. So I'm going to just go after it where it has the one. And I'm going to change that to part B. So I can tell which one goes where. 
So now I print the first one, print the second one, and when they're done, tap it with a hammer. All right, friends, so there are the two pieces. Now it's kind of comical. I'm a little cheap, so I scaled it down to make it a little smaller. So now mine's so thin it might be hard to snap in, but let's see what it looks like when I tap them in there. And there it is, two-colored keychain, totally tapped in. Got a little corner that's popping out, but I would say the technique is a success. So you can see how it turned out. But friends, most importantly, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please hit that like button. If you have a question or a comment, please add it down below. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit that little button. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.